What is up? My name's Brad and this is Operation N64. Now, if you guys are new to the channel, in this series, we're trying to build an N64 collection starting off with just £10 by using our charity shops, our car boots, our Facebook marketplace, look at the stuff for cheap that we can sell for a profit to build a game fund to buy N64 bangers. So welcome back to the first episode of 2024. I hope you all had a fantastic Christmas, great new year. Uh, I've started the year unwell. I don't know if you could tell by my voice, I'm a little bit unwell. I always seem to finish a year or start a year six. It's just the way I am. But anyway, let's get into this episode. We made a couple of sales between Christmas and New Year. We sold a couple of them uh, jelly cats. So keep your eyes out for jelly cats. We sold the elephant one for 19.99 plus postage. And we also sold the giraffe one for 19.99 plus postage from a pound each or 50p each that's not too bad at all so after fees and everything that's a grand total of this to add to the game fund for a grand total of this uh not too shabby i'm hoping to pick up a game this week so let's get going what is up guys voiceover brad is back for 2024 i hope you guys are doing well uh, i managed to get a little bit of hunting in uh, while the kids were still at school uh, in between christmas new year and uh, the first week of january yeah not too bad popped in the couple of locals i didn't see anything here worth picking up a couple of games maybe a few xbox original games uh if you're a collector of that uh, i did see this uh plushie from jurassic world and also this cool like um zuri x shot uh, you know it's like a nerf gun uh, like a different brand of nerf sort of thing uh, this is one of them skins with the uh the sonic skin on pretty cool this is brand new never used um so i thought i'd pick it up take a punt on it uh, why not I then popped next door and they had a couple of games on the shelf. Uh, I didn't see anything worth picking up here. Uh, a couple of FIFAs there. Uh, FIFA 19 on the Xbox 360 and the PS3 are definitely worth looking out for. Uh, on the PS4, not worth anything. And then me and my boy went to Clinically, we went to Retribution. Uh, while we were there, we hit the charity shops. Uh, I told him about the uh, Fix It Felix Jr. Uh, arcade cab that he has in the shop. And he said to me, he said, Dad, will you take me there so I can have a little go on it? So I said, yeah, why not? Good excuse for me to go hunting a little bit in the charities and also see if uh, Retribution had any N64 games for the collection. Couple of games, I saw a couple of games there and a couple of games here. These ones were a bit a bit priced. I mean you had Dead Space here for 550. It was like a four pound game. So uh, once you see that you sort of know uh, what's happening here. Uh, so I didn't pick any of these games up, just a bit a bit overpriced for me. <coughs> and I saw this Rambo uh, annual in the window, five pound though was a little bit steep for me, but it was something I would definitely be interested in if I saw it for a cheaper price. And they had a basket of games here, a whole bunch of FIFAs and um, like Wii, Wii Fits and Pro Evos and stuff. Um, it's the sports games, really. Uh, I did have a little look through. I know one of the um, LMA managers has a bit of value. Uh, not this one, though. I did see this uh, Metal Gear Solid 2 uh, strategy guide, uh, £3 for it, not too bad at all. Uh, uh, I did initially think it was the first game and got excited, um, but still still cool to add to the collection. And I saw some of these cool little uh, like Tiger, not Tiger, little Buzz books, little Ladybird books. And you know me, I love these, these sort of books here. Uh, a couple of games on the bottom shelf here. Uh, you know, a fair few games, just nothing really worth picking up. There were some of the Buzz games, uh, the Buzz Junior, and they, they do have a little bit of trading, a little bit of resale value. So um, I did have a look at them and picked up the ones that were worth uh, picking up that weren't too scratched. And they did have a whole bunch of them, um, but a couple of them were just a bit too scratched for me. So, um, so yeah, I did leave a few of them behind, but I did pick one or two up.
It was then time to head to Retribution, uh, see if they had any N64 games. Plus, my boy was desperate to play uh, Fix It Felix Jr. And then on the way home, we stopped at one last charity shop and saw this cool luck, like, uh, brand new Pokemon trainer challenge uh, for two quid. So I had to grab hold of this. And we are back in the game space and we've had a pretty tidy week. I uh, picked up a few bits and pieces to try and sell or trade. Uh, I've also picked up an N64 game, which is fantastic. And I've been proper cracking on with the games room. So yeah, the games room is, is definitely making moves. Um, We've got uh, you know, a bit to do still, but all the major like issues have been resolved and we've started running in the electrics and whatnot. There'll be an uh, a update video coming very, very soon, but I'm feeling real confident that it won't be too long until the games room is complete. Uh, final question, let's, uh, let's just stick it out there to see what you guys think. Do you think we'll complete Operation N64 or the games room first? Let me know in the comments below which one you think will be done first. Um, but anyway, let's get into what we picked up this week. So we spent a total of £84 this week. That's including the N64 game, so we can deduct that from the game fund. I've also picked up a few bits and pieces for the collection, which we'll get into shortly. But first of all, let's get into the stuff to try and sell or trade. Just a couple of games this week and nothing too exciting. But we've got these um, Buzz Junior. We've got the uh, Ace Racers and the Robo Jam. I think there's about six quid in trading here. So I paid £3 for the pair, so I doubled my money on them. Uh, nothing too crazy, but these were the only ones where the discs were decent enough, I think, to trade in. The others were scratched to hell. But yeah, nice little double your money. Or you could try and sell them on eBay as a bundle for maybe a tenner. I don't know, we'll see. But uh, yeah, had to pick them up. We also picked up this little ET plushie. This is a 20th anniversary. Um, this thing's really cool. I did consider holding on to it. I still might. If I do, I'll just put the two quid I paid back into the game fund. But this thing's really cool. Potentially maybe 10 to 15 quid. He's in his jacket. He's still got the tag on from Universal. That thing's really cool. I don't know. I'm in two minds about this. But yeah, very cool pickup. We've got a couple of brand new toys here as well. Uh, the first one is this uh, Zuri X-Shot Skins. It's a Sonic the Hedgehog skin. Um, pay three quid for it. There's only one that's sold on eBay that I can see. And it's sold for like £9 plus postage. But, you know, to like triple my money, get a nice little bit of profit from it. I thought it would sell pretty well because it's brand new. But we will see. Uh, yeah, £3 for this. The next thing we found is this uh, Pokemon uh, Trainer Challenge. Uh, it's like a little little interactive game. 300 questions. Uh, it's brand new. Never been used. Um, I paid two quid for it. And it sells anywhere from like 10 to £20 depending. Uh, so, yeah, nice little bit of profit in this, hopefully. Um, yeah. Kind of cool. A couple more plushies as well. We picked up this Jurassic World. I think this is blue. Is this blue from uh, Jurassic World? I think it is. Uh, it's official. Very cool. I paid 50p for it. Uh, it doesn't sell for a great deal. Maybe a fiver. But uh, I had to pick it up. It's pretty cool. Cool little dinosaur. Blue. Blue, my boy. Blue, <laughs> my boy. <coughs> Don't make jokes, Brad. Jesus. Too sick. And the last thing is this uh, Squish Mellow. Now, these are very hit and miss. Um, I paid 50p for it though, so I think we could definitely squeeze maybe 5 to 10 out of it, maybe, somewhere between there. It is in really good nick, very clean. Um, yeah, Squishmallows are very hit and miss, so when you are picking them up, be uh, a bit more uh, bit more particular, maybe. Now let's get into the stuff I picked up for the collection, and then we'll get into the N64 game. Now it's very book heavy, picked up a ton of books. Now I absolutely love these, these are them little like a uh, Ladybird or Buzz books. Uh, you've got some Masters of the Universe right here. These things are really cool. Um, I love these little books. I'm always going to pick them up. We've got uh, He-Man Meets the Beast. We've got He-Man Wings of Doom. Love the cover art on these. They've really held their colour very well. 
And we've got uh, Skeletor's Ice Attack. And a nice little buzz book here. And it is uh, Biker Mice from Mars. You know me, guys. I love me some Biker Mice from Mars. Test of Friendship. This thing is awesome. This is book number three. pound fifty. this would have been back in the day. I paid a pound a piece for these. Now these four here, I might have already, but um, a lot of stuff still packed away, so I don't know yet. If I do have them, I'll probably try and sell them on eBay. Um, I'll probably get maybe, I don't know, a couple of quid each for them. But we've got these TMNT uh, carnival books. We've got uh, Enter the Rat King. I'm not sure if I have that. Follow the Leader, possibly. I definitely think I have this, Splinter No More. Chris, I bought these off you, mate. If you are watching this, let me know if these are the ones I bought from you before. And return to the Technodome. Uh, very cool. I love these little books. You know me. I'm always going to pick them up. A pound a piece I paid for them. Uh, yeah, very happy with these. The next thing is this uh, Metal Gear Solid 2 Official Strategy Guide. Now, we picked this up for the collection. I love me some Metal Gear Solid, especially the first two. Um, yeah, very cool to pick this up. Three pound. I don't know if there's a great deal of value in it, but it is a really good nick. And uh, yeah, I do like me some strategy guide. And then we picked up a couple of annuals because you know I have an issue when it comes to annuals. And the first one is awesome. The first one is an awesome one. It is this Toxic Crusaders uh, annual, man. Just don't see Toxic Crusaders very often in anything, toys, uh, books, anything like that. I see a comic book a long time ago in a charity shop and it had a crazy price on it, like £40 for one comic. Um, so I wasn't going to touch it. But this for like 50 pence is very, very cool. And the colours on it just stood the test of time. And another annual here and it is Flash Gordon. Uh, I do like Flash Gordon, man, especially the film. I know it's so bad, it's good. Um, but this thing's old. Very cool. And you know how I have an issue when it comes to these annuals. Right, let's get into the N64 game. I'm very happy with this. My kids have been looking forward to these games. Of all the games on the list, these are the games they want to play. Uh, I've already opened it because I have an issue. I can't have things sitting there. I want to try harder this year to open more packages with you guys on camera. But when a parcel arrives, I just can't resist it. So that game is uh, Mario Party 2. Princess. We went to grade school together. Okay, that's you, kid. You're wearing a tie. It's time for Mario Party 2. Rated E for everyone. With five new adventure boards and 64 mini games, you're definitely gonna want in. Pizza! Him. Uh, I paid £67.50 plus postage on Vinted for this. Uh, they sell it for £85 in CEX, so I'm very happy to pay that. Uh, the only real bit of damage is down here, uh, but, and maybe a little bit here. But I can live with that, man. You can see right there. You can't really tell it's there. Um, yeah, I'm happy with it, especially for the price. I'm very happy with it. And the box itself is in, like, fantastic condition, like, kept its, like, integrity, kept its structure, its shape. So, yeah, very happy with this. I'll open it up and show you the inside. <clears throat> cartridge right here very nice condition cartridge very happy with that and the manual is a girthy one and also in very good condition you always get a bit of like foliage at the top where people have like tried to ram them back in the box i guess but this thing is in pretty good condition very happy so yeah very happy to start the year with a new game for the collection and I'm very happy that it's a Mario Party one. The kids are desperate to play Mario Party with me. Uh, so yeah, can't wait to add the other two, but great to add one to the collection. So there it is, nice and snug in its protective case. Let's uh, chalk it off the list and stick it on the shelf. Here we are, number seven on the list. So there it is, chalked off the list. We've got eight games left. Uh, so yeah, hopefully we can smash through them early this year. Um, so yeah, let's stick the bad boy on the shelf.
So there it is up on the shelf, looking great. We are 17 games in now, only eight left to go. Um, I do apologise for this video, guys. My voice is a bit ropey, a bit raspy. So I do apologise. Hopefully next week I'm back to fighting fitness. Now I've got a ton of stuff to list. I've been desperately waiting for the uh, discount on selling fees. So all the stuff I've been picking up in the past couple of episodes, I still have yet to list. So hopefully when they come in and we list a ton of stuff, we make a ton of sales, we can start knocking them big boys off the list. That is the plan. Plus the games room is taking very, very much priority now. I've got the spare time. You know, Christmas is out of the way. The kids will be back in school. So I'll be plowing on with the games room and trying to get it done as quick as possible. Uh, so that is the plan. But I'm still going to dedicate at least a day to go out hunting for stuff for Operation N64. So don't you worry, this series is not going to suffer. Just so we can get the games room done, we're going to do it side by side. So yeah, that's the plan going forward, guys. I really hope you'll stick with me. Uh, as always, I really appreciate all your support, all your likes, comments, or everyone who subscribes to the channel. I really appreciate you guys. You wouldn't know. It, mean, it means an absolute uh, ton to me. Uh, I'd love to clear 2,000 subs this year. That's my aim. I don't think that's asking too much. I think we're only like 130 away. Uh, that would be fantastic for this year. I'd be buzzing if I could clear 2,000. But anyway, guys, if you're enjoying the series, as always, smash that like button. <coughs> <coughs> Jesus! So yeah, guys, if you're enjoying this series, smash that like button. Consider subscribing to the channel. And as always, be rad, stay rad, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.